Well, from Vatican City to the U.S., rumors are making the rounds. Is Pope Francis getting ready to retire as he's elevating 20 more churchmen to the rank of cardinal? And while we try to figure out the Holy Father's future, he begins two days of discussions now with his leaders about reforms to the Vatican Constitution. ABC News Senior National Correspondent and my co-anchor Terry Moran in Rome joining me now from the Vatican. Such a beautiful sight behind you. What an amazing place to be and see, Terry. <laughs> you know, let's talk it's retirement. It's a beautiful evening here in Rome, Kira, really Yes, is. it's always a beautiful evening in Rome, right? But now we're talking okay. retirement. Inquiring Catholics want to know. Uh, adding 20 more cardinals, you know, does expand the list now of those eligible to vote for the Pope's successor, right? It does exactly, Kira, and, and that is part of its significance. So any cardinal under the age of 80 is eligible to vote in the next conclave, as they call it, to choose the next pope. And 16 of those 20 men elevated to con uh, cardinal are under the age of 80. So all told now, throughout his papacy, uh, Pope Francis has appointed more than 60 percent of these cardinal electors. And by and large, these are cardinals who share his vision for the church, truly global, more diverse and less doctrinaire. Uh, the American cardinal uh, who was named, Robert McElroy of San Diego, he is a progressive in the church. He has taken a public stand opposing the denial of Holy Communion to American Catholic politicians who support abortion rights. He also signed a statement last year supportive of LGBTQ youth. So he's, he's very different than a lot of other American cardinals. And so all that has given rise to the speculation you know, is Pope Francis going to resign? He's 85. Uh, he's got knee problems. He has trouble getting around, often uses a wheelchair, and he has talked about resigning. Just this weekend, he visited the tomb of Pope Celestine V. You remember him, Kira, uh, <laughs> who was the last pope before Benedict XVI to resign. And he praised Celestine's choice. He, ta he ca called it humble and, and courageous. And so he talks about it. But hold your horses. There's a sense here in Rome uh, that Pope Francis still believes he has work to do. Part of what they're doing, just behind me there in St. Peter's, in, uh, just behind the, the Basilica, all these cardinals from all, all around the world, almost 200 of them meeting to discuss reforms in the church. He wants to get that done, and he wants to figure things out. He's still a man very much in charge of this church. You know, you mentioned reforms. Let's talk reforms. You know, what kind of reforms are we talking about? What could actually happen within these meetings? You know, it, it's a little unclear because the agenda was, was kept, uh, not secret, but they were still working on it up until yesterday. It's known, however, that Pope Francis does want to rewrite the rules of a conclave to make long deadlocks less likely uh, to change the way the votes are counted. Uh, the other thing that it said he wants to do is formalize how popes might resign. Benedict XVI shocked the world when he resigned, the first pope in 700 years to do it. And Pope Francis says that's a gift to the church. And so he wants to put some, some rules and some systems around that. He, he himself has said that if he chooses to resign, he'd like to stay here in Rome as a, as a priest bishop, doing ordinary things like hearing confessions, baptizing babies, visiting the sick, and he kind of wants to put some structure around the whole process of resigning from the papacy. They also want to look at how the curia, the government of the Vatican, the government of the Roman Catholic Church, is organized. So they have some work to do in there, some of it having to do with this issue of what comes next. So when we talk about what comes next, and, and you mention uh, Bishop McElroy and, and more liberal views, and we talk about possible reforms that could be discussed uh, within the Catholic Church within these couple of days, you know, can we hear more about abortion, LGBTQ, um, you know, th th those hot button issues? At, at it's a really good question. I don't think we'll hear about them directly. One of the things that, that Pope Francis is trying to do is encourage these issues, uh, obviously under the framework of Catholic teaching, to be resolved also by the bishops closest to the people. 
that what works in one place might not work exactly the same as the other place and that the teaching is broad enough to include different solutions on these hot button issues. And he also believes that maybe the American church is too focused on those issues when there is so much more that the gospels can give uh, to, to the country. That is, that is his uh, belief and we'll see how that works out. Kira? The gospel according to Terry Moran. Terry, we will talk again. Great to see you. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.